G'day everyone, welcome back and I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, firstly, I just want to apologise for the delay between this video and the last. There's been a lot of exciting stuff happening behind the scenes that I can't tell you about just yet. Uh, I promise you'll be the first to know when the time comes, but for the time being, just sit back and enjoy the video. where I want to put this thing. And that is down the side. On the driver's side, the idea I've had is putting the diesel heater in here somewhere, punch through the floor, a bit of ducting, and then bring the heat pipe into the kitchen. Yeah, let's get cracking on that. And I'm wondering whether it should go further that way or this way. Maybe closer to this end, I suppose. And this will still fit in nicely. I wonder if this bag will fit in behind it. What have we got? Diesel tank. Won't need that. Looks like a mount plate. Fuel pump. An exhaust. Muffler. On air vent. Fixings and wiring loom. Uh, I guess the diesel, diesel hose, intake for the combustion side, little vent, control panel. There are instructions. <laughs> no. Heater to the plate first. And then bolt the whole plate in. No. Should I just be cutting a big hole here? No. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to do that. I'm getting the angle grinder. Let's do it. I think if that bolts on there, I seal it up, obviously, and then I just bolt the heater to that. That should be. That should be fine, right? Yeah. Ignore my second hole there, that's a bit of a mistake. Did anyone else end up like this doing silicon work? You just get it everywhere. and solid, it's our inlet, and that's our outlet. I guess it's gonna go straight up through there. Yeah, yeah. Kinda of lucky I wasn't recording just then. I was just trying to bend this piece of pipe, slipped off and caught my finger on this edge here and cut it. <laughs> I don't think I wanna show you what's under here. It's pretty disgusting actually. <laughs> but just be careful with these exhaust pipes. They are sharp, like really sharp. The exhaust pipes in and the muffler, intake hose and the inlet for the diesel, that's the fuel pump, it's all mounted up. It's kind of kicking my ass at the moment, so I think I need an easy win. Um, I've started ripping out the water pipe for the tap, that is the other issue. Um, I ran this underneath the van. Obviously if it's going to be going, if we're going to be going anywhere with snow, uh, that pipe is not going to not going to fare well, it's probably going to freeze. Just going to poke out here, I think, so 
Just gonna pop the vent on. Now, I've really got to get on to moving that water pipe because I've left it hanging under the van and I need to drive the van soon. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl under there and rip that out and then get it back in, hopefully today. Somehow. Get the hose run in. And it goes back here and it's all sealed up. So I only managed to get the diesel heater as far installed as this today. Exhaust is on, the intake is on and the fuel pump is mounted. So next time I'll have to climb it into the fuel tank and I'll also get it wired up too, and then we'll get to test it, but we'll just jump forward in time, probably a week or two, and it'll be done. This has taken me uh, about a month to, to finish this job. Uh, the first time I tried to install this heater, it absolutely kicked my butt. So yeah, this is the follow-up. So it was uh, plumbing it into the diesel tank and running the electrics. And I think the least daunting of those two at the moment for me is running the electrics so that'll be the first job that i do um and since since the last well since the start of this video i've actually run a power fuse box right up here which will make it super easy seems like it's all doing what it should be uh i guess we're going to get on to the diesel side of things now which is what i was a little bit daunted about So, this is my bag of bits that I've got left over for the rest of this heater install. And this is what I grabbed in an attempt to hook into the fuel tank. So, I've got some fuel hose, a filter, because I don't want uh, any crap going into the diesel heater. And then I've, I actually didn't look at all, so I went and bought just about every conceivable fitting that I thought I may need. Uh, to get this hooked into the tank. I think I'm going to use the supplied hose to get it to the back, which is where the fuel return line is, which is what I'm intending to hook into. So that's, uh, that's my diesel pump, and I've run it over to the back here. So these two lines here, um, as far as I can tell, they run, one connects to the engine and one connects to the tank as the return line for the diesel. But anyway, my plan is to cut this and tee into it and then use that as my feed for, for the diesel header. And that would go there. So hopefully that's the setup. My assumption is it'll just draw, draw the diesel from whichever side goes to the tank and the return line isn't pressurized so none of, the, none of this has to be pressure rated so hopefully I'm right we'll see got my line here and I think I'm gonna go something like this I don't know if this will be under any pressure or not. I might go and take the tank cap off, just in case. That's a good sign. Now, yeah, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is introducing an airlock into the diesel system. I think Lyle might have just arrived too. He was going to come over and help me today. Hey, mate. Hey, good. It's Lyle. This is this. You know, this is the second video where you've arrived and I've been laying on my back on the floor. My sense of, sense of being coming out of you. You copied this time, aren't you? <laughs> no coffee <laughs> still. Hey, mate. You're good. See these two lines here, right? These two lines, one of them goes to the engine, and oh, one yeah. of them goes to the tank. 
Yep. And from what I could find online, it is coming all the way to the back here. I thought it was maybe for a a diesel heater, like a factory diesel heater. Yeah. But it's more likely for cooling, apparently. But I've basically made this little adapter. Yeah. I've just got that capped off so in yeah. case it had pressure in it. But I've put a filter. That's my line to the diesel heater, and I'm just going to... Nice. Put, put it all together. Thing. This is where I'm up to. Hopefully I'm just going to connect that to that and it'll work. That's good. You want to check it's not leaking? It doesn't seem to be leaking, so well, that's good. We undo the little and see if it pushes it out. Maybe. I don't know, I'm scared. I mean, there's diesel in the filter, so that's... Oh, that's a good okay. sign. So it's obviously pushing a little bit of diesel through. That off. Well, that's kind of solid. I think that's good enough to test. So I might go turn on the heater and see what happens. Don't need that to be flying. So on. Oh. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. You turn it up. Let's go see if it's gonna draw some diesel. Whoa! Right. <laughs> I think it just ignited. <laughs> I heard like a. <laughs> oh, that was that. Maybe. Oh, that's so toasty. Why has it taken me so long to put one of these in? This is awesome. Seems like it's working and that's on full power, which I don't think in Australia you probably don't ever need full power. But uh, yeah, that seems to be working quite well. That's pretty obvious for anyone walking past. Tough tools, half price. I don't know what half price was though. I'd call that a big success. So I think we're just gonna let it run for 20 minutes or so because it stinks right now. I think it's just burning off a lot of plastic and like manufacturing oils and stuff. So hopefully it'll not stink when I actually need to go and use it. If you're still here now watching, I truly do appreciate it. You've watched a whole lot of video about me just installing a diesel heater. Um, so if you wanna get one of these for your Ben, uh, I'll be including a link in the description and you can get your own. So thanks for watching and take care. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey.